Just the stuff. <laughs> Church, 
<laughs> Grew up in the hood in Dayton, Ohio. I did, man. Uh, one of the things about my neighborhood is we had some, some good motivators. Matter of fact, we had some great motivational speakers in my neighborhood. That's the only thing. And uh, I don't think y'all call them that in Columbus. I think you call them something different, like crackheads. That's what you call them. Because <laughs> you know, can't nobody make you feel good about this dude. Like, about your life, like the dancing dude. Because when he see you, he meets you with energy and excitement. He's like, ah, there he is. Look at you, boy. I'm just going to walk around you. You look so good. You got the tan Obama-looking shoes on. I'm going to walk around you until you give me a dollar. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to go this way. Counterclockwise. Now you owe me $2. You can give me $2 bills, eight quarters. 20 dimes, 40 nickels, 200 pennies, and put it right there. Pow! <laughs> you know, this crackhead has got a mean kickback. This is good sport coat. Yeah. Pow! <laughs> you go outside with that good coat on, they just go open your coat. <laughs> send you to no counselor or no psychologist or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. She would send you straight out there to the dance and do it. He'd be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> now your mother told me you was dealing with that low self-esteem. Question, how low is it? <laughs> is it low to the floor? <laughs> Pick it up, young fella. Ain't low no more. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You ever trying to parallel park it be a tight spot? You can't get it. You inch it back and forth. Dude will emerge out of the cement. <laughs> All right, inch it on back. Inch it back. There you go. There you go. Stop. Stop right there. change your Wi-Fi password. Yeah, I got two 
beautiful children, man. I got my, uh, my son, Jordan, is five years old. My daughter, Journey, Amen. is four. Amen. You know? Okay. okay. <laughs> I know you say you just say amen about anything. Just amen, amen. You know his kids' names. You know, cause black men out here don't even be knowing their kids' names no more. So I applaud you for knowing their names, black man king. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, see, I, I was married before, okay, and uh, yeah, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't go all the way to the finish line. I know it. Uh, Woo! See, here's my thing on divorce. I know it's a taboo uh, topic, man, but this is how I look at it, all right? God created a group of people mm -hmm. that was supposed to be in a relationship with him, and they start tripping. <laughs> and if you know your Bible, what happened? He drank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> made another group of people, they start tripping, and he drowned in too. So my point is, if God can start over, why can't that? That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Look, some of y'all don't know y'all Bible. You don't know about the pre-Adamite world or nothing like that. You like, he drowned people twice? Yeah, that's why he said, be fruitful. And multiply and replenish, because there was people before Adam. Y'all know that? Yep, I knew. <laughs> just you. Okay. Yeah, you ain't saying amen now. She's like, God dang, I just learned something from you. I just learned something from the skinny fellow. <laughs> Mr. Good Sport Coat, did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Okay, got gotcha. you. Take the coat off. I'm starting to think that the coat is making people think that you got more knowledge than you. No. <laughs> Not let that stop us. 